trip to Connecticut and um, just didn't feel well enough to travel. It didn't, it, you know, that's, that's a tough ask. Um, but her goal is to, um, to travel with us on, on the remaining road trips. Maria? Coach, obviously a team came off a tough week, but back home now, two games at home. Just wh where is the team at right now in terms of maybe the relief of being home and then ready to, to close out this SEC season? Yeah, I think we're going to find out. You know, uh, they, they've been um, – They've been good in practice. They, we've seen them a lot um, in the last uh, last couple of days. Just checking in on them, um, spending time with them, watching film. Um, uh, so we, we've had a lot of touches. But um, you know, when when the when the game uh, when the game begins, we're going to find out where we're at uh, because right now our um, you know I think right now they're they're good. Um, Practice has been good. They've practiced hard. I think they're saying the right things, but um, you got to go out and uh, execute. Cora. Go. go ahead, Cora. Um, I wanted to ask uh, that about Tamari. When she had the injury against Kentucky, she didn't really have time to fully recover from that. Is that something that's been hindering her a little bit lately, or is it more of a mental hurdle right now? Um, I think – I think we're probably looking more mental hurdle. Um, she and I actually talked about that um, uh, this week, but I don't think it's anything that's holding her back. So we just got to get back in, um, you know, get everybody back in the, um, a good place mentally, but also uh, with some good, good practice habits, good, um, good rhythm in practice, good rhythm in games. Um, we, we, we can get back to that. Back to Maria. Coach, you still obviously control your own destiny in the SEC. I mean, you're not scoreboard watching. I mean, out of curiosity, maybe there's always good games, but you still control your own destiny and what happens in this league. The, the team hasn't lost sight of that with, with the losses, have they? Well, I think sometimes they need to be reminded, you know, and we're, we're, we're trying to learn how to live in this space right now. This is so new and, and we don't like it. Um, so our, our team, is we're, we're trying to um, have a sense of urgency, but also not have a sense of panic um, but because of where we're at. So we're, we're still in, um, right now, we're still in good shape. We just need to um, get, get back feeling good about what we're doing. You know, and that's easier said than done. You don't just magically do that. You got to go out and, and lock in execution wise. You got to be tough. And, um, you know, that's and that's a lot easier said than done, um, especially when you're, you're playing Mizzou because of uh, how they play and how tough they are. Yeah, that was going to be my follow up. I mean, Missouri is the only team in the SEC to have beaten South Carolina. And just a quick look of them, they, they rebound the basketball. That, they, they attack that glass. Just what are the challenges that Missouri is going to present Thursday? Well, I think the challenges are the matchups um, for us defensively. You know, we've got to get out behind the three-point line and guard, and then they do a great job of spacing you out if you do get out there. Um, and then offensively for us, they do a great job of taking away your strengths. They, um, you know, they, they are very – um, each game is different. You know, they go in a, a defensive game plan per their person, uh, per their opponent. And so um, we have to go in and be solid because they're going to really try to take away any strength that we have. Um, and then they're just tough. I mean, they're just resilient. They're tough. They're motivated. Um, and, um, you know, they're, they're, they're good. Cora? The other part of your front court with Alexis Dye is struggling a little bit as well recently. Um, how do you kind of get your players back into that aggressive, confident mindset um, when both of them are kind of in a rough spot right now? You know, we're um, that's I think that's the million dollar question. How do you get how do you get them back where you need to need them to be? Um, nothing, nothing for them has changed in, in terms of what we're asking them to do. So we just got to get back to you know what we're what we are good at and. Um, playing with that confidence. I do think it has to come in practice. Uh, I really do. And, um, you know, I think they've, we've got to be able to step up and, 
and uh, make plays in practice, carry that over to a game. And, um, you know, I think the like to see that resiliency and that toughness uh, reappear. You know, it may or may not equate to wins, but I think that's where we've got to, got to get that back. Have you seen that in practice, uh, you know, recently this week? Um, we, yeah, I thought our practice yesterday was good. It was, it was very, um, it was short in terms of the length, but it was intense. It was aggressive. And I thought our players um, were more focused. And so um, I'm, I'm excited about taking the court today and um, really pushing them again today. Again, at this point, it's February. You can't practice long. Um, the, the time uh, um, is, is critical, but you've got to be really good while you're out there. And I'm excited about pushing them while they're out there today and um, seeing where we can get them. Maria then Karthik. Coach, point guard to point guard, what, what's your message right now to Jordan Walker to, to kind of get her back on track? I know that was a tough stretch for her on that road, and y'all need her so much to do what she does well. Yeah, you know, the thing about her, um, she's always competitive. You know, she she was getting after it there um, in our games, and, you know, sometimes she honestly tries too hard. She's wanting so bad for this team to win and make plays that um, I think sometimes um, we lose our patience a little bit. And so I think for her, watching film, she's been in the gym a lot, um, just making sure that, that she's patient and she's settled and, um, you know, showing that composure because I think her teammates are going are gonna, to um, get that from her. Hey, Coach, can you hear me? Yep. Okay, cool. Uh, what do you feel like can be the biggest takeaway from the stretch uh, where the team hasn't been playing well? You've dropped some few games here. What do you feel like can be the biggest positive takeaway, uh, you know, moving on for the rest of the season? Well, um, it, could be, it could be a lot, actually. Um, you know, I think part of um, – I think some of our team was feeling some pressure with with where we were – ranked or you know how we were doing and and the expectations um so i think one takeaway is learning to live in that space um i think another takeaway can be um you know just a reminder of how tough this league is and how tough you have to be every night out when you're playing um and i'd like to think that if we can come through this with a positive outlook you know, it could help us um, because it's a, it's a big reminder of who we need to be, how we need to play. And um, while we were good, when we were winning games. Maria. Quick question about Jordan Horston. She keeps making these midseason watch lists and, you know, final 10 uh, shooting guard players. I know how much she does for the team. But if you could talk a little bit about Jordan Horston as a teammate, sometimes when you have a star player who's getting all that attention, it, it can the, a player may not handle it well or the team. But it seems like Jordan has kept it all in perspective. Is that is that a correct assessment? Jordan is uh, Jordan's a really good teammate. She is um, she is selfless. Um, she's humble. Um, she loves her teammates. She wants to win, um, and I think. I think those qualities about her, she's just a genuine big heart. Uh, I think those qualities um, help when she's getting attention. You know, she's, she can brush it off. She just wants to win, you know, and, and that's easy to say. A lot of people say that, you know, oh, I just want to win. I'm not interested in that, but it's true. It really is true. She just wants to win. And I think the competitive spirit that she's had all season has been infectious and or contagious. And I think, um, you know, really proud of her for, for hanging in there. Cora then Jack. It feels like kind of part of the season where the team, you know, decides to show you know, what kind of team they really are. For you as a coach, what are specific things you kind of look for in them in regards to their response and practice and, and what, how they are, um, I don't know, just carrying themselves in this space. Yeah, um, part of it's body language. Part of it, are they saying the right things? Are they, um, are they communicating to get, to get together? 
uh, an air of confidence when they step out on the court? Are they making hustle plays? Are we, are we just being tough and gritty? Um, are we working hard? It, it's, it's not the, the shooting percentage. It's not how you guard this. It's, it's all the other stuff. Because once you get all the other stuff, you start playing with confidence. And then everything else falls in line. So for us, you know, just, just dang toughness, right? That's what, that's what we want to see. Yeah, Coach, and just what are your general thoughts on what uh, Emily and Caroline have been able to bring to the court since Kean's injury? Well, I think, you know, their, their minutes have been thus far situational. Um, you know, they, they bring some positives to the court. Um, I think each, each player brings something different. Um, Emily helps us because uh, she can come in and, and still give us big, uh, give us size in the paint and uh, presence in that paint. And I think Caroline uh, comes in, she works really hard. Um, Notice this obviously more in practice. She's been posting up very strong and it's given us an offensive presence in the paint. And so, you know, as they keep working, you know, um, on, on, on their game, it may be each, each game, maybe uh, you see where one of them might could, could give you some minutes or, or maybe both of them. And, um, you know, we, but we've got to find ways for, um, for them to keep getting better, you know, and in, in practice and then um, hopefully gaining more meaningful minutes in the games. Maria, then we'll finish with Cora. Coach, you mentioned toughness, and I know both are playing behind people and they're freshmen and they got a lot to learn, and it's not easy to figure out both ends of the court. But Kaya Wynn and, and Caroline Stripling seem like they have a little bit of toughness sort of in their DNA. Is, 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 are those two players you'd like to get a little bit more out of in February? Yeah, you know, I think um, for us, one of the things, Kaya was out um, there with a little bit right when – we felt like we, we were ready to get her um, uh, maybe some more minutes and then, and then she's out for a bit. So we got to get her back um, where, where we, uh, where she's feeling good, you know, and, and obviously we're, we're at practice every day, you know, we're seeing, seeing everyone's strengths and, and where they, they can improve. Um, and then Caroline, uh, you know, she's just got a resilience about her. And I've said that numerous times and she's just, she's just going to try. She's going to give you everything she's got every time she's out there. And um, the same with Kaya. I think, you know, you don't, you don't worry about their effort for sure, but you know, that they're still, they're still working through, I think a little bit of the speed of the game at this level. And um, you know, we, we're continuing to challenge them every day in practice. One thing that we've always said, you know, players that don't get a lot of minutes, it's, it's sometimes deflating. I, I get that. And it's, it's hard to stay motivated. I do believe those two have stayed motivated. And um, to me, you never know when your number is going to be called. You never know when that opportunity is going to be there um, because there's so many ebbs and flows to the game, um, foul trouble, injuries, uh, the, the way the game is going, the way the game is being played. So we ask them to be ready. You absolutely have to be ready. That may or may not equate to minutes, but but you've got to be ready because at some point it is going to matter, and and it is going to be important that um, that we get good minutes from from our bench. Easy, quick follow up question: How how much would a win mean and boost this team on Thursday? Oh, we desperately need a win right now. I think for um, for morale sake, uh, you know. Um, and it's, it's not a given, that's for sure. You know that. Um, so you, you've got to perform to get it. But regardless, um, we need to – what I'd like to see, regardless of the end result, I'd like to see us play a certain way. I think – I really do believe that's more important right now, how we play. Um, and, you know, I think as we, as we take the court, we can't be overwhelmed by a sheer – need to win uh, just go out and play each each possession be great this possession and once you start doing that once you start simplifying it once you really start taking one possession at a time I know it's cliche but it's true um, th it makes it makes the end results better you know uh, and right now we can't be looking big picture it is what are we going to do 
um, when, when that ball tips, what, how, how well are we going to play on each end of the court? We'll finish up with Cora. You there, Cora? All right, we'll go to Carson. I'm glad I got to ask a question because it's a little more lighthearted one. Uh, so I saw that video that you uh, made with Coach Barnes about getting the tickets sold. And at the end, he said, uh, keep pushing P. Did you know he was going to say that? Do you know what that means? I don't. I don't. I'm sorry. I am not, I'm not young and hip like everyone else. So that I'll have to go ask our players what that means. All right. All right. Thanks, Coach. Thank you, guys. Thank you.